with another video. Today I woke up craving minestrone soup from Olive Garden. I just really miss their unlimited soup, salad, and breath breadsticks. So I decided to come to the happiest place on earth. That's right, you've guessed it, Trader Joe's, to buy the ingredients and try to make the soup today at home. Also, I just want to come and pick up different snacks. I feel like my day-to-day -day life during quarantine has been just spent planning what my next meal is going to be. But I've also been trying to learn how to cook different recipes. And I think Trader Joe's is like the perfect grocery store if you don't know how to cook because they sell so many pre-cooked meals that you can easily just add like a little thing to make it your own and they already taste delicious so it's basically dummy proof and I just love Trader Joe's they also have really great snacks so let's go inside and see what we buy today trying to make the minestrone soup I'll go ahead and show you the things that I picked up at Trader Joe's I also had to make a detour to Whole Foods because I couldn't find everything that I needed for the soup at Trader Joe's so these are the things that I picked up I got these chicken goiza pot stickers they have been my favorite quarantine snack they're super fast and easy to make and are really delicious I have been wanting to get a sauce to dip them in because I've been eating them just as is so I'm very excited to try this goiza dipping sauce as well for those Italian nights when you're looking for some comforting pasta to get you through any quarantine anxiety that may be popping up, I recommend this. This is the penne arrabbiata and it comes with a spicy tomato sauce. It's also very fast and easy to make. It only takes seven minutes and the serving is pretty big that you can get away with having it two times. I think I there was a time where I was surviving off of those during college. For snacks, I got the Trader Joe's rolled corn tortilla chips with the chili and lime sauce. This is basically the Trader Joe's version of Takis, but you don't feel horrible after you eat them. For my fruit, I also like to put the chili lime seasoning. So I got that. I picked up some brown rice brown rice rice cakes for some snacks throughout the day or before a run and I like to smear them with the crunchy salted peanut butter. I love this one because it already has the flax and chia seeds mixed in so they're perfect if you need some energy or you're hoping to get those nutrients throughout the day. I have loved the Trader Joe's pizza dough. They have a regular version, but I think my favorite is this garlic and herb flavor. And I have been topping it off with some prosciutto and arugula. And I like to toss the arugula in lemon juice, garlic powder, salt, and pepper. And these are the ingredients that I needed for the minestrone soup. We got some vegetable broth, some dry basil, two cans of diced tomatoes, 
and some kidney beans and um, some organic great northern beans and at Whole Foods I got some of this Bansa chickpea pasta. I've tried all of the types and my favorite are the elbows. I think they taste better. I know they are probably all made from the same ingredients regardless of the shape of the pasta but these taste substantially better than the rest. I also needed some Italian seasoning for the soup and I picked up some marinara sauce and some pizza sauce. I've been really excited about trying this one because I have been obsessed with their pasta sauces. Like I could eat it by the spoonful. I love to toast bread and then I cut it up into little strips and then heat up some of the pasta sauce and just dip them in as a snack throughout the day. So I have high hopes for this pizza sauce. And so those are all the things that I got. But I do need someone to riddle me this. I got all of these things from Trader Joe's for $32.45. And then only got these four measly little things from Whole Foods for $21.66. Like what? I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't understand. Chef, so step one, you're going to pretend that you are on an episode of Chopped. You're going to make sure that you dice the zucchini, carrots, onions, and celery. And then you will put them in your pot with some olive oil and just saute them for about 10 minutes until they are golden brown. Alright, once you're stirring, make sure you're playing the song, look at the flick of the wrist. <laughs> After you're going to add the canned diced tomatoes. And you're going to make sure they're nice and saucé with your Italian seasoning and your dry basil. This is also a time where you can add some salt. After, we're going to add the vegetable broth. Pour it up, pour it up. Then we're going to add the kidney and great northern beans and simmer for about 10 minutes. Then you can add some cups of water if you think that your broth is too thick. Then we're going to make the pasta. And we cooked it separately because if you cook it in the soup, the soup, the broth may soak up with the pasta. So we just did it separately. Then you can add it once your soup is complete. And voila! Alright, so here's the finished Minestrone product. I must say this is not the same as Olive Garden. Now, soup of the week. That's just slop. Horrible, nasty, loop. What are you? An idiot sandwich. Idiot sandwich what? An idiot sandwich, Jeff Ramsey. Our second judge may be a little biased given that he is my father, but he gives it a slurpin 10 out of 10, two thumbs up. Way to go, me. All right, so it is not horrible. It's definitely edible. It tastes really healthy, and there's vegetable broth with tons of veggies. I think that it needs a little bit more salt. Mm. But other than that, I feel like I'll have a second plate, so that's a good sign. And I've never made soup before in my life, so the fact that it's even edible is definitely a win for me. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video and enjoyed seeing everything that we got at Trader Joe's, Whole Foods, and joining me on my first time ever making soup. Have a great day. Goodbye.